Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use the network days function. What the network days function is, it calculates the work days between a start date and an end date. So you give it two dates and it will find a difference between those two dates. So in this example, let's say this is a US calendar and we are looking for the work days between December 19th and December 26th, right here. So what it does is it discounts the Saturday and Sunday as a work day. Saturday and Sunday are days off. So it's only going to count the 19th, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 26th, which is five days. So let's look at the arguments that you can put into the network days function. Let's go to the first one here. Now let me go ahead and click the insert function icon here to bring up the function arguments window. And we'll see that the arguments that we put in, there's only two required and the other one is optional. Of course, we have our start date here, which is A2, and then our end date here, which is B2. And then we have our holidays, which is C2. So there's a couple ways that we can actually put holidays in here. We can put it as a cell, or we can put it as a range, or we can put it as a named range. So in this first instance, let me go ahead and cancel this. This first instance is looking at the cells. Remember this last argument here is looking at the holidays. The second instance is looking at a range of cells. So if I click this, you'll see that it's selected this purple here, this range of cells from C2 to C7. Now this third, let me go and press escape to get out of there. This third instance is looking at a named range. So what happened here is I selected a range of cells and gave it a name. So this particular one is looking at, let me go ahead and click here. Whoops, let me press escape to get out of there. Press escape to get out of that cell, to get out of that uh, edit function or edit mode. And then let me go ahead and click the U.S. Holidays. And what I did was I clicked the U.S. Holidays. This name range is looking at cell C2 to C17. So the beauty of this, as opposed to the first example where I only selected one cell, is if there was an additional holiday, maybe a business also gave people the day off on the Friday after Christmas or the 25th, I can just put 1226 here, 2014, and it will reflect in the calculation here. It reflects in the calculation here because that named range, U.S. Holiday, encompasses C2 to C17. It reflected in here because I selected from C2 to C7. So I'll show you how to create a name range at the near the end of this video. So for the most part, you only need two arguments for the network days function, your start and end dates, and any holidays that you would have to put in there. Well, what if you wanted to find out the work days in a country's that had different weekends. Let's say, for example, let me go ahead and sheet two. In India, the workday is from Monday to Saturday. So basically, it would fall, the weekend would fall on a Sunday only. There's only one day out of the week. Well, there's another function that got introduced in Excel 2010 that's called networkdays.intl international. And that calculates, it gives you some additional parameters as, as we see here that help you calculate uh, what are defined weekends for specific countries. So let me go ahead and bring up the function argument window here. We have our same required uh, arguments that we put in, our start date and end date, A2 and B2 here. And then we have this weekend argument. And there's some defined parameters that we can put into the weekend argument. And you can see this table here, uh, this, got, this I got off Microsoft.com website, that if we have in our, in our example here, we have India, which only has Sunday as considered a weekend. We would have to put 11 as the value. So that gets put in there. You can see we have that in there. Now the holiday is very similar to the network days function where we have our holiday argument. I defined a separate column for that. So the network holidays international function is, is not too different from the network days function. It just has the additional parameter of the defining what a weekend is. You can add that on there and you can look at the table that you would see on Microsoft.com's website. So as I mentioned earlier, I will show you how to create a named range. So what happens in a, in a named range is you basically you just select a range of cells and you give it a name. You can either give it a name here in the name box and I'll put in India and then the country code for India is IN and I just underscore holiday. Or there's another area you can create it. You can also create it under formulas and define name. Just click on that. You can do the same thing as type in the name. In this case, it would be India underscore holiday. And then in this box, I would just select it and then select here. And just, oops, and just select that range. I'm going to cancel that to get out of there. 
But I've already select I've already created a name range here. And once I go into the formula here, what I can do is type equal network days international, select that, and then select the start date here. Click that, comma, the end date, click cell B2, comma, weekend. So Excel is pretty nice. It gives me a drop down here to select the day that I would define or days that I would define as a weekend. I'm going to select here, Sunday, click that, comma, and then holiday. So I can actually type in US, oops, India, IN underscore holiday, or just select that, and it's going to recognize the holiday is going to be in here. Right? So now that it clicks, it selects five, which is correct. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's say maybe it, specific companies give you an additional holiday in India, maybe the day after Gandhi's birthday. And we do 10-3-2013. You'll see that now the workday has changed. There are four workdays between the first and seventh because of the additional holidays maybe some companies would give. So that's how the name range would come into play if you want to use it in terms of this particular function, the network days. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.